easier. That was a little loud. <laughs> what a place that place is. If there is a place to go, that would be the place. That would be the place. <laughs> the place is Nashville. Nashville. No. no. What a good time we had. We, I don't think we're gonna get a better city, a better group of people in an RV resort. Everything that we experienced and we dealt with in Nashville was a positive and it was fun and entertaining. We went down Broadway, we went into the bars, we brought the kids into the bars. They had more fun than we did. <laughs> Kids are loud from about 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock at night in, in probably 99% of the bars down there. Yeah. They, uh, they got to go on stage with some of the band members. We experienced probably more things because of the kids than we did without the kids. I agree. We were sitting out having a, a free concert at Bridgestone Arena, watching Big and Rich and Lone Star and the National Predators cheerleaders came up to us. I thought it was because I was so good looking, but it was probably because of the girls. And we got free tickets to the game that night. Awesome. Row. It was eighth row, actually. Yeah. And went to the Ryman. She did her tour there that she really wanted to do. We went to the Grand Ole Opry, took a walk around outside. We didn't have time for the tour inside, but we had to check it out anyways. What else? We went to the Gaylord Opryland <clears throat> Hotel and Conference Center. It is massive. It's like the most luxurious resort hotel. Waterfalls inside, pools inside, restaurants inside. It's like, um, yeah, it's like West Edmonton Mall on steroids, basically. Yeah. It was beautiful. Walked around, like said, Mark said, we went. I went to the Ryman. We did a whole bunch of little tours there. We stayed at the Grand Ole RV Resort in Goodlitzville. Probably won't find another campground uh, similar to this one again. The people, it's a family run business. The people that are working there are amazing. They've obviously been there a long time. They're helpful. They just like to hang out and visit. They have live music there every single night of the week. Um, they'll serve you up a pizza. We had a Thanksgiving, like traditional Thanksgiving dinner with everybody there. Um, the kids had a great time. All the people that are working there were amazing. I don't know, yeah. We were gonna only stay there a week and we decided to stay for two just because it was that good. And we're <laughs> trying to figure out a way to stay three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Marks wants to move there. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. But the, uh, yeah, the hospitality of those, those people there, they bent over backwards for you. They made your stay enjoyable. Six out of five stars for sure. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> Highly recommend. Actually, I demand you stay there. <laughs> yeah. If you go to Goodlettsville or want to go downtown Nashville or stay, in, it's only what 20 minutes away from. Yeah, Nashville. it was like 20 minutes away from Broadway, so it was really, yeah. really close by. And yeah, you get the best of both worlds. You get sort of the nice small town sort of living and um, super close to all the attractions and everything that you'd want to do in Nashville. Yeah. Nashville has turned into our number one hot spot. Yeah. My favorite place in this world is Las Vegas. <laughs> Nashville has come right up there to <laughs> tying them for number one spot to ever go to, and it panned out. So, highly recommended. There's all sorts of things to do off-Broadway as well. Like Ange said, the Rhyme and the Opry, there's the malls. So in Opryland Mall, they have a restaurant that looks like and feels like it's underwater. It, uh, it's a big aquarium. All you're doing is watching fish go over top of you, underneath you type of idea if you're right up against the glass as you're eating a nice steak. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of neat. I, I looked it up a little bit. There's a lot of these aquarium restaurants, but lots of them are in Europe. You're not going to find too many, if any, in North America. So it was pretty cool to see that. Um, a few other places that we stopped by um, and looked at there, they have the Parthenon, which is an exact replica of the Parthenon in Athens. So that was kind of neat. Um, they built it years and years ago for the World Fair. 
Um, we also went to a couple of different parks. They have a really cool, um, it's called Fannie Mae D's Dragon Park. It's got like stained glass, basically dragon that comes up out of the ground. The kids had a great time running around there and letting off some steam. And just down the road from that is the butterfly or the angel wings, sir. Yeah, so we went to the Gulch, which is kind of like a trendier sort of neighborhood as well. And they have um, these big, beautiful angel wings that are painted on just the, like the side of a building, basically. Um, it's, uh, a v it's a very famous hot spot. Yeah, it's called What Lifts Me Up Angel Wings Mural. So you go, everyone goes there, gets their picture taken, and then obviously hashtags it on Instagram. So we did so much stuff in Nashville that we're going to be forgetting something. Yeah, no, we I won't forget anything. Yeah, like it's just... <laughs> Cooter, Cooters. Oh, Cooters is yeah, another thing. Yeah, the Dukes thing. of Hazard Museum Holy. was there. That was really fun. Got to see all of the like old memorabilia, the little old Dukes of Hazard lunch boxes and trading cards and they have tons of like, you know, t-shirts and all sorts of things for sale there as well. And then to finish it all off, just a day or two before we left in Goodlettsville, did their hometown Christmas parade. So we got to uh, sit outside on the main drag of Goodlettsville and the kids got to collect more candy than they did at Halloween. It was crazy the amount of uh, candy that the floats threw out. So that was really fun. Kids really enjoyed themselves there too. Did you guys have fun there? Yeah. Yeah, Nashville yeah. was great, right? What was your favorite part of Nashville? The parade? kids had a really great time. They sang along. What's your favorite song and who's your favorite singer now? Johnny Cash. And what's your favorite song now? The Ring of Fire. <laughs> Sing us a little tune. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Down, down, down and the flame went higher. It burned, burned, burned. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. <laughs> Good job. So um, about five minutes away from Centennial Park is another little park called Fannie Mae Dee's Park. It's basically like behind a playground. Um, they obviously have a big huge park right behind me for the kids to play. And then they have this really cool um, dragon statue basically that's made out of these tiny, tiny little tiles. They have this little climbing thing, little fort almost sort of thing for the kids to climb up on. So yeah, like I said, it's like about five minutes away and the kids are going to play here for a little bit.
guys, so we are back on Broadway today. We uh, just can't get enough of this place, right Ange? So we're, uh, we're looking at, there's a Predators game tonight and maybe Big and Rich is playing there tonight, apparently at about five o'clock for half an hour or so, so that'll be kind of neat to see. Uh, we're just gonna go tour the place again and have some good eats, go to some different bars, have a couple beers and see what we can see basically to catch up on what we missed out on last time because there's so many little side streets off of Broadway that you just can't possibly get to all in one day. So lots of little places that we probably missed along the way we're going to try to catch up with this time. Yeah, it's crazy down here. It's so it's so much fun. Right now it's uh, overcast. It's not very nice. It's like 15 degrees Celsius right now, which is I nice. I think it's less than that. I think it's about 10. 10. So yeah. it's nice out with the jacket, but uh, we're not sitting in the snow. We're having a good time here. So we'll let you know what we see out there and we'll take a bunch of video. So our first stop is probably going to be at the Nashville Arena to go check for tickets and stuff like that. And then we're just going to head on to some side streets and check out some bars. All right, see you in a bit. Lone Star, this other fabulous girl has played. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know her name. And then I see these beautiful cheerleaders come up. <laughs> I ignore it because my wife's here. And they came up to us, specifically the girls. girls. And what did they give us? What did they give us? Now we got second row tickets. Awesome. Magic tricks? Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Um, 